Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Did you recognize me? Here I am, I am your very own Wibble Bright and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Now my dear friends, in this period of lockdown, I'm sure everyone are at your place, at your home. Yes, be at home, be safe. Now at times sitting at home, you get bored and you must be thinking about how to kill time. And for that purpose, I'm here in front of you to just not only kill your time, but to give you some valuable information. That information is that in this particular video, I'm going to talk about the scope of chemistry. Now, some of you will say, oh, not again. We are already bored. And once again, you're going to add to your boredom. Why chemistry? Now, I'm here to solve all those queries of yours. All right. So please. Go through this entire video till the end and see what the change that takes place in your approach towards chemistry. So to begin with, the core part of this particular video is chemistry. So I write it down over here, chemistry at the center. Now I'll be asking some basic questions to begin with. Are you going to breathe air? Yes, of course, that's required for you to live in this particular world. Then tell me why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? Are you going to drink water? What a silly question. You cannot survive yourself without water. You always talk about good quality water, mineral water. Then tell me why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? Are you going to eat food? Yes, of course, that's required for your existence, for your sustaining your life. Then tell me why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? Next, you require a shelter, don't you? It's a basic requirement. So you buy a house. And when you buy a house, you always talk about this. It should be made up of good quality, good quality bricks, sand, etc, etc, cement. Are you going to talk about it? Yes. Then tell me why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? Next, once you buy a house, you go inside and you want the appearance should be so soothing, it should be so relaxing that when you do all the hard work throughout the day and when you come home and you feel, oh, it's nice, it's like a paradise. So for that you require some elegant paints, you require a good interior designer okay, to design your furniture which is being made up of wood, steel, fiber and so on. Don't you talk about this? Yes. Then why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? Paints and interior designing which I am talking about. Every one of you have a passion to have a weekend and then go for a long drive. Not now, please, during the lockdown period, afterwards. So everybody has a passion to go around for a long drive. But then, my dear friends, when you go for a long drive, aren't you not going to talk about petrol, diesel? Yes, of course. Then tell me why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? Because petrol, diesel are nothing but, we talk about hydrocarbons. And they are basically nothing but related to petrochemicals, oil and petrochemicals. Right? Next thing is, don't you require clothes? Yes, of course. You require clothes to wear and move around. Gone are those days when the people used to just wear leaves and move around. But here, in this modern age, you require good quality fabrics. You always talk about what type of fabrics looks elegant, what type of fabrics is very comfortable. Don't you talk about it? Yes then why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? So it's all about fabrics. Right, next thing is cooking. Don't you think it's an essential part of the life? Yes, of course. And in this lockdown period, it is the most essential one since the hotels and the restaurants have been closed down. So when you talk about cooking, are you not going to talk about cooking utensils? The non-stick utensils, so it becomes so easy for you to cook food then tell me why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? 
So it's cooking utensils. Next thing is, when you talk about ornaments, you have a passion of this. Most of them have passions for ornaments. And the very first thing which comes to your mind when you talk about ornaments is gold. You talk about which quality gold, which dweller has the best quality gold. You talk about it? Yes. Then why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? That comes under mining. Now answer one very simple question of mine and that is, in your entire life, haven't you used in any form rubber, plastics? Yes? You have? Yes. And when you talk about those rubber and plastics, then tell me why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? Next is, is it possible that in the entire lifetime a person hasn't fallen ill? No ways. Simple as there might be a headache as well. And if there is a headache, you require a medicine to cure it. Okay, you cannot just sit down with your headache when there are lots of work pending. So you talk about what? Medicines. Which is the best medicine which is going to cure your illness as soon as possible? Then tell me why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? Everyone wants to look beautiful, wants to look fair, wants their skin to be glowing. So you always talk about, yes, which type of a lotion has to be applied so as to look to be captivating, appreciated by others. Don't you talk about it? Yes, you do talk about it. Then tell me, why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? We are residing in a country like India. And the speciality of our country is our agriculture country. It's an agriculture sector. So when you talk about agriculture, you always talk about green plants and etc, etc. But don't you talk about soil? Don't you talk about fertilizers for the growth, quality and the quantity of the plants? Don't you talk about it? Yes, you do talk about it. Then tell me, why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? Now, can you ever think about your life? especially in this lockdown period without mobiles, without televisions, without refrigerators, without air conditions. No ways. You cannot just think about it. Okay, without all these things. It's an essential part of your life. So we talk about lithium ion batteries and we talk about plasmas and we talk about coolants and all these which is required in this particular gadgets. Don't you talk about those? Yes, you do talk. Then tell me, why shouldn't I talk about chemistry? It's electronic gadgets, which are so very important. All right. So these are some of the fields which I'm discussing. There are various other fields where chemistry is being directly associated. This is just a gist, my dear friends. And the purpose of this video, my dear friends, is only to make you realize that chemistry is associated with the essentialities of life. And that's why we say chemistry is life. Do you run away from your life? No, you just enjoy it. You need to start thinking about enjoying your life. Then tell me why should you run away from chemistry? You need to enjoy it. Are you getting it? In the beginning of the video, okay, some of you might be having a question. Why chemistry? But now, my dear friends, if we have realized the importance of chemistry, then there has to be a slight modification in your question. In the beginning, the question was, why chemistry? Now, the question which has to be there in your mind is, why not chemistry? So please, I urge all of you, that have a look at this particular image. Go through it. What are the various sectors and the fields in which the chemistry is being associated? And I'll say one thing and that is, if you feel it's interesting, then please do like, share and comment my video. And yes, please, don't forget to subscribe my channel 
for the further updates related to the other videos. Be at home, be safe. Thank you so very much.